Hi, welcome to my video on MIPS. What I'm going to be showing today is just an introduction to how MIPS really work. It's going to be basic uh, commands, basic um, functions, and things like that. I'm not really going to program anything. Um, it's just going to be a simple introduction to what, what what's available to us. The first thing that you want to do in a MIPS program is you want to type in some uh, directives. The first one you need to know about is .text and the second one you need to know about is .data. And these can go, um, these can be interchangeable as in you can put .data first and then .text. So you can make it .data then .text. Um, but Personally, I like to have my dot text up on the top and my dot data on the bottom. What goes under the dot text is your program. Whatever you want to run, that's going to be under dot text. Under dot data is what's, what you're going to store stuff in, such as variables, uh, label information, um, words, and we'll go more into that in the later videos. Um, Inside your dot text, and we'll be focusing more on dot text um, in general. What's going to go? The first thing you want under your dot text is a, la a label, and it's going to be called name. So when the program runs, it's going to go into dot text and run. It's going to start from name and go line by line. Now, if you don't know much about programming, MIPS is a line by line program. So it's going to read the first line, then it's going to read the second line, then it's going to read the third line, and it's going to start reading from where dot text is. So if dot text is down here, it's going to start reading from line 6, then it's going to go to line 7, line 8, and it's going to keep reading and do the commands that are inside each line. Now this, what we created right here, this main uh, colon thing, it's called a label. So, and we can create many other labels like um, my name and all we need to do is just add a colon and it's a label um, another one would be Bob hello world these are all labels and you can call them whatever you want but main is what is it's a default main is where you begin your program and under main you want to write whatever you want your program to do first and that's the basic structure of a program of a MIPS program um, there are some other things that uh, you guys need to understand about and they're called uh, registers and registers are what stores and stores data or information and if you are using Mars, you can see that the registers are on to the side over here. We have 0, AT, $V0, $V1, $A0, $A1. For our programming, we're going to be using $T0 all the way to $T7 and sometimes we won't even use all of them. In a program, maybe you'll just need one or two and we'll also be using dollar v0 we're going to be using those registers extensively so how can we use these registers well if you look to the side right here you'll know, notice that the value of all of these registers is 0x0000000000 zero 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 zero. that means there's nothing in those registers so at dollar v0 there's zero there's up there's nothing in there uh, when I say nothing it means that it's the value is zero it doesn't literally mean there's nothing in there it zero is in there um, so let's let's understand a little bit of the commands in uh, MIPS the first command that this is very important command and you'll use this extensively it's called the load immediate command and what load immediate does is if you're using MIPS you can see that when you type in li 
it'll show you um, it'll show you what what uh, drop down of commands so here we have load immediate and then it shows you what those what that command does so we can do dollar immediate t1 with the value we can with the negative value we can do load immediate uh, register with the positive value and we can make these values as big as we want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load immediate v0 with 10 and before I load immediate v0 with 10 let me load immediate t0 with, with 5 so what so like I said MIPS is a line by line program so first it's gonna go it's gonna our program always starts at main and at main the first thing it's gonna do is load immediate 5 into t0 so how is this done what's what's gonna happen here so the first thing that's gonna happen is the value 5 is gonna go inside t0 it's kind of backwards instead of t0 going inside 5 we the second value of our function is going to go into the first value of our function so 5 is going to go into t0 and in our fourth line you can see that 10 is going to go into v0 and that's how you load a value into a register and the function we used here or the command we used here is load immediate li so let me show you what happens when I assemble this code so when I assemble this code you can see if you're using Mars you can see this really cool window and I, I'm just gonna run my code line by line and if you notice I clicked on the first line and if you notice the third line says load immediate 5 into t0 so I'm gonna go look into my t0 well here's my t0 and if I look at the value and bam it has a hexadecimal value of 0x0000005 now I'm gonna click next again and it says v0 and I'm gonna put 10 into v0 so I go to v0 and if you're using MIPS there's this cool green highlighting thing that shows you what's going on in these registers and inside register v0 a is inside our register v0 but wait we put 10 inside v0 why is there a a well you have to remember that 10 is a decimal value and and the data stored inside these registers are hexadecimal the value 10 in hexadecimal is equal to a if you remember if you remember um, by uh, decimal to hexadecimal we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 1 is equal to 0x01, zero 0 1, 2 is equal to 0x02 zero zero and all the way up to 9, 9 is equal to 0x09 zero zero and when we get to 10 we don't go to 0x10 zero zero. we go to 0x08 zero zero and 11 is 0x0b zero zero and 12 is 0x0c zero zero and this goes all the way up to e I believe up to 15 before the end of this video I'm just going to teach you guys how to use some simple MIPS function um, one of the most basic functions other than load immediate is add and what add does is it adds two registers together so let's say we want to add the register t1 and the register t2 together and we want to put that value in the register t0 and this is all you have to do so what it will do is it'll take the value of register t1 and add it with the register t2 and put it into the register t0 so it'll look it'll be like this so t0 is equal to t1 plus t2 t0 is equal to t1 plus t2 and if you guys know programming that'll be very um, that's very easy to understand uh, another another function is um, subtract 
which is SUV here I'll, I'll, let me uh, let me just make that on a new line so subtract so I want to put it into T0 and I want to put T1 and T2 and that's how you subtract then we have multiply multiply T0 T1 T2 so once again what does this do it takes the value of T1 and multiplies it with T2 and puts it in the register T0 the final one is uh, divide which is just div and t0 t1 sorry I totally misspelled that and t2 what does this do it takes the value of t2 and puts it in the uh, divides it with sorry I said that backwards it takes a register t1 and divides it with t2 and puts it in the register t0 now if you look at our side right here um, all of the values in our register except t0 is equal to 0 so when I do add t2 and t1 um, well t1 is 0 and t2 is 0 so the value of t0 is going to be 0 if I run this code of course um, you can also put your value into the into one of these registers so say you add these two values together you can put it inside t1 if you want to or you can put it inside so what the program will do is it'll first calculate this and then put it into these registers and that's pretty much a very basic intro into MIPS this is how you use um, functions in MIPS if you guys have any comments questions please post it on my video below and I'll be glad to make a video or glad to give you guys a response thank you